Namaste. Today I want to share a story with you about two monks in a Zen order that were traveling together. One we'll call Ikiro and the other Tanzan. Tanzan and Ikiro were traveling on a very rainy day. It was kind of a monsoon pouring down rain and the road they were traveling on was just very muddy. They, As they traveled, they walked around a bend and they beheld a beautiful young woman wearing this silk dress. She has an umbrella and she has this beautiful silk dress on. Now, Akira and Tanzin were a part of an order that was very strict. Now, you could not, as a part of this order, lust, even lust, even if you looked at, with lust in your heart or in your eyes, even toward the woman, you would be beaten. And so, they would just keep their heads down and they would walk on by. This lovely, beautiful young lady was trying to navigate this large puddle and uh, mud all around and a very large puddle and she was trying not to get her shoes wet. And so Tanza picks her up, carries her across the puddle. Akito, keeping his head down, was completely disturbed by what Tanzan had done, and and but but he keeps this to himself, and so they Tanzan lifts the young lady up, and he carries her across this massive puddle, and he sets her down on the other side, and he he blesses her, and they go on their way. Later that day, after arriving at the lodging temple where they were staying, um, Akito looks at Tanzan and says, "I." cannot understand. I just, I am still baffled that you would have acknowledged, spoken to, and, and you even touched that beautiful young lady. You picked her up. You know that in our order, we're not allowed to do such things. Tanzan looked at Akito and said, hmm, I left that young lady by the puddle when I put her down. Why are you still carrying her? See, this story is all about being present in our moment, in the now. And so many of us are living this self-protective, we've built these self-protective walls around us, these walls of self-protection that also become walls of self-imprisonment. And we don't allow ourselves to be moved or to do certain things because we're afraid of what they might result in. Because our minds are continually living out of the past and projecting towards the non-existent future. This story is all about learning to stay in your moment. Tanzan had picked the girl up and set her down, but he left her there. He wasn't continually uh, staying with her in, her in his mind. A kiddo struggling in his mind still with this the beauty of this young lady. You see, the thing you resist, you empower. If you're resisting lust or you're resisting certain things within you mentally, you actually empower them. You'll create a massive war for yourself mentally. Some of the best things you can do is just yield to it. Observe it. See it. I talk about a lot about these things. Well, um, above, I'll post a link uh, to a few videos that might help you. But I want to simply take this one last moment to encourage you to like Tanzan, be in your moment, and then leave it. Stay here with me in the now. There's nowhere else you can actually be. Past and future are just part of the imagination. Past being memory, future being projection or imagination. All that is real is in this here and now. So be with me here and now. Touch the moment you're in deeply and then leave it. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And like Tanzan, we're learning and you're learning how to be present in this moment, how to touch this moment deeply, presently, intimately touching this moment, being mindful of this moment. And then leaving the moment as it transforms and transitions into the next. So I encourage you today, be here, be present now with us. If you'd like more information on uh, some of the mindfulness classes that I teach, meditations and things of that sort, 
go to the ecstasisinstitute.org. I hope this touched you. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.